evening, the morning of the 20th of December, 2011. This is where I camped last night. In the outer edges of a large parking lot, there's the movie theatre. There's the Fred Myers where I got my the movie at the Red Box last night. So <clears throat> I think I shall have a breakfast. Um, fruit and oatmeal. Ooh. Car's going to have to be on for at least 20 minutes this time. Because it barely started this time. So let's go. Let's go to McDonald's to have some breakfast. <clears throat> Park in the parking lot. Use the internet to cook up my breakfast. So it's a little bit foggy. <clears throat> Suppose I could wipe the fog off. Okie dokie. So let's see. I had a br I had a dream, man. I had a dream. I got like I had a really cool dream. I was traveling from one house to another, like some un underwear pa underground passage. But then I had another dream. I was in a house and like we got taken in a nice house, but then we got taken like hostage by all these thugs. And then, but they trusted me to go to some other house. So I escaped. I was going to try and tell these Mexicans to call the cops but they didn't understand English so then I went down to talk call the cops a couple blocks away they didn't seem to really care so I was walking back to house like shit what should I do but then I woke up so so that's kind of weird I don't know why I had that dream a weird action dream because I saw I saw like a happy vacation movie last night but whatever here I'll go this way I gotta find a place to park I'm gonna go in there return this movie and then I'll catch up with you there's Fred Meyer, right there. There's McDonald's where I'm gonna do my internet and have breakfast, so. Um, <laughs> yeah, kind of a boring town. Marysville, it's just a road and a bunch of businesses and stuff. Hello, this is the 20, no, no, I'm sorry, it's the 20th. <sighs> this is vlog for the 20th of December of 2011. Um, it is 12.09 at night in the morning, and I'm just about to go to sleep, and I'm parked out in front of a Hagen supermarket. I'm the only guy in the parking lot, pretty small parking lot, I think I'm gonna camp here. Even though you got signs around that say, unauthorized vehicles will be towed at owner's expense 24 hours a day, yada 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 yada. Um... Even if I sleep in, I don't think anybody's gonna be like, oh my god, it's a van, call the cop, call the fucking towing, call the cops. I don't think, even if they know I'm sleeping in here, I don't think they're gonna give a fuck. I don't think people care. The first day you're there, I don't think they care. Um, however, and I have to stay here, it's no choice, because I rented the movie Planet of the Apes. Arr, it's pretty good. Because uh, it's holiday season. Holiday season for me means drinking beer, picking out, and uh, renting movies and shit, you know. I am spending a lot more money now than I normally would. I spent like uh, 16 bucks or something like that today. Not including uh, coffee. I spent like less than 20 bucks today, which is a lot for me, but um, let's see. Yeah, because I spent like 16 bucks on a movie. No, no, that's completely separate, though. <sighs> I guess I spent 20 up. It's been like 16 or something on, um... On, um... Pasta. No, no, not pasta. Hot sauce. Refried beans. One can of refried beans. One pl uh, glass of hot sauce. And a bag of chips. <clears throat> Which I still haven't finished yet. Uh, still food. This processed food, when I say processed food, I mean food that people like process. It's not just like the vegetables just taken straight out of the ground, chopped up and thrown in the can. That's why I love canned food. I mean, think about it. Canned food is amazing because it's totally not processed. Unless it's got like corn syrup in there. And some of my cans have corn syrup, but that's not much. That's not processed. 
That's the veg, fruits and vegetables fun thrown in the thing. Processed is when you do something to make it look different. Like this is processed. It's a corn chip. It's corn packed into a chip. That's processed. You know, just like the refried beans, just like the hot sauce and all that stuff. You know, even even like prepared food, like like where they throw the little pieces of meat and then the uh, potatoes and then the uh, corn or whatever all in the thing. That's processed because it's thrown together, even though it's not really pro that processed. But yeah, that's why I love canned food. It's just totally. <sighs> Ugh, but for the cheaperness of it, it's the cheapest. It's cheaper. It's totally cheaper than this. I mean, 16 bucks a day, getting this, it's like, it's just one meal and 16 bucks. But if it's the canned food, holy shit, dude, $150, it's like a month, you know? So, whew. Yeah, dude, I'm into that again. But anyways, I did that because it's holiday cheer. So, anyways... Uh, so what did I do today? Yeah, I got up at like 2.30. Huh? <sighs> it's 12.12 and I'm already done with my movie, so I think I'm going to be getting up early tomorrow. Tom today was my last night at the gym today, even though I didn't work out today, by the way. Yeah, I got up at like 2.30. Went over the gym, was going to work out, but then I looked at my MP3 player, and I noticed that the battery was dead because I, um, I put a bunch of, um, um, music videos on it yesterday the other I think it was yesterday because I just wanted to see what they looked like and they don't look good by the way because they, they come up horizontal they don't even take up the whole screen because they use the horizontal part of the video uses the vertical part of the screen <laughs> so it's so small but anyways I made it so that my mp3 player was just loading and loading and loading and loading and loading until the battery died after like 14 hours so I just deleted those videos and had it plugged in while I was in the Starbucks, and then um, when I unplugged it and looked at it, it was all the way charging it, and it loaded right up. So, yeah, too many of those music videos isn't good, even though I have a lot of the shorter videos. I guess if the videos are longer and bigger, it'll over overheat the uh, MP3 player. So, uh, yeah. So, anyways, that's why I didn't work out. <sighs> but I went back to the gym to shower. Yeah, I got to shower every single day. I love sleeping sleeping clean, man. Being clean is just doggy, doggy's way. <laughs> Uh, it's a doggy style way. Um, yeah, and I didn't work out. I just didn't feel like it. I was like, fuck this, dude. It's holiday season. I ain't gonna be working out like these. What's wrong with these motherfuckers working out at holiday season? You know? That's not, this is not how I roll, man. I'm just like that. I'm part of holiday. I do holiday season, man. So, um, yeah, I went and I rented this movie, and then I watched a little bit, and then I went into Starbucks, and it's right there, and I watched a little bit until they closed. Then I came back and watched the rest of it. And then the um, the um, place was closed. They closed an hour ago, so I gotta stay here tonight. Some cops are like, fuck you, get the fuck out of here. I'm be like, dude, the movie, man, gotta return the movie, bro, you know? Yeah. As far as the tow truck guys, they're not just going to tow my car. They would at least see if I'm here and then be like, oh yeah, Joe. Yeah. <sighs> Those signs are just for like people who abuse shit, you know. If they haven't seen me, then it's cool. And by the, and the cool thing about sleeping in a parking lot of a supermarket. Oh. <sighs> in the morning, by the time people come here and start shopping, you just blend in. You just look like another one of the cars, you know. And when you're the only car at night, you stand out, but there's nobody there to see you. Then in the morning, you don't stand out. So there you go. But anyways, um, yeah, tomorrow night, tomorrow morning when I get up, I'm going to return this movie. Oh, yeah, I just had six beers, by the way. Alaskan winter. Uh, for like $6.69. and They're pretty good for that much. For a six pack. Uh <laughs> um, I'm going to get up and then I'm going to drive to Arlington because tomorrow's the first day at the next gym. Well, I'm glad, dude, because I've been in a rut, dude. I've been in a rut here. I've been sleeping in too much. So hopefully the next gym, it's going to, you know, that's the cool thing about living in a van, changing scenes, because every time you change the scene, it's like you get a new rebirth, a new beginning. So go there. I heard the gym is bigger and better, so I'm going to go there and I'm going to start working out and do my thing again. But I think they said there's more people, but whatever. Yeah, go there for two weeks and then 
there's another gym just like 10 minutes that way towards the east for two weeks. And then maybe I'll call the Muckle Teal and be like, what's up? Can't you let me in too? Because they're the ones who are like, even though you're a Gold's Gym member, you can't, you have to pay $5 every time you come. And it's like, what the fuck? I do, what? So I'm going to call them back make sure that's the truth. But if not, it doesn't really matter. I'll just go down the next town because I've been in Seattle forever, dude. You know, I could bust cat from Seattle by now. I think I could scrape together enough money to drive an hour to the next town. Get some new beginnings. Um, I've been thinking seriously about uh, painting on my van. Doing the thing, because people have been commenting on that video a couple months ago when I was in Seattle. Or not a lot, no more than a couple months, maybe six months ago. <sighs> when I was in um, Sacramento, um, I made a video like, should I, should I like paint on my car that I actually live in it? You know, like advertise it on my car. My lifestyle, which makes sense to me because... It's a cool lifestyle. It's my YouTube video. I'm proud of it. I want to share it with people. So then why wouldn't you use your car as an advertisement for that wonderful lifestyle? But then the problems are is if you are a, um, if you are a, uh, if there's a um, uh, ordinance in the city that says you can't sleep in your car, well then anybody who knows about that ordinance, or ordinance is going to think, a lot of people are going to think that they're being good Samaritans by notifying the police. Or if a policeman drives by and sees the sign, they're like, well, I got to follow my job and do the city ordinance and fucking get this guy out of here. So, but it'll be a cool part of my video. You know, my video, I'm the, I'm the living in the van guy, dude, you know? And so I got to do it up. I got to do it right. I got to be an educationalist. And besides, I can't, you know, there, I'm going to do a video tomorrow about the new political party. The new political party are the uh, transparentists. And I can't be a transparentist. I can't be a true trans transparentist if I'm not painting on my car what I'm doing with my life. It violates transparentist um, uh, credo. So, you know, I can't be a hypocrite. You know what I mean? I got I to gotta be straight up. So... Anyways, I think I might do that. I think I have some paint sticks, and I might be that. Blah, blah, hoo, hoo, hee, diggies, doggy style. You know my website, doggy style, Jesus Christ the Savior, America, all the good stuff, you know. Uh, timeline, donate to me. I'm the future president because because I'm the leader of the Transparentist Party. Uh, so. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, so, um, that's what's downtown tomorrow, Julie Brown. So, what am I going to do tonight? Guess I'm going to go to sleep tonight. Um, and, uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Tomorrow's my brother's, my mother's birthday, so I think tomorrow I'm going to be done, done work on my site. Because today I was doing work on my site, I did pretty good on India. I don't like to talk about my site, dude. That's why I don't talk about my site, the details, because I really don't remember the details of my site. It's just like I work and I remember the cities I did or the countries like India and shit. That's all. It's just like, phew. And it's, I don't want to talk about it, man. I don't want to talk about that shit. I don't want to mix up work with personal life, dude. Work is, you go into the void and you're just like, blah, oh, in the void, blah, blah, you know. I don't know. I don't remember. It's the void, man. I mean, Mogul, maybe that's who I did today. I don't. I literally don't know what I did today. All I know is that I was busy the whole time. <laughs> Something about India. It's, it's just a lot of work, man. It's too much. If I start over analyzing what I do, it's just stressful, dude. It's better to just go in there and work. Do your work. It's like a normal person with their job. You know, they go in there and they do their work. Whatever, it's their work. It's my passion. It's my life. It's my love. It's the things that's going to turn the world around. Not turn the world around. It's one thing that's going to bring enlightenment to the world. But I don't just, I just don't want to talk shop, dude. I'm not into talking shop, man. It's my life. It's different from my shop. Unless something weird happened. You know what? Unless somebody wants me to. Somebody actually straight up asked me to. They're like, you should talk more about shop. Then I'll be like, all right. It'll probably bore the hell out of you. You know, I'll be like, yeah, today I saw branch for the first time and i thought well should i include branch or just just, just should i use that as the dynasty it's like oh you know, you're trying to fucking make people drool out of fucking boredom you know if people knew 
let me tell you this right now. You do not want my life. My life is fucking boring for you. It's not boring for me because I'm excited. I like what I do and what I do, but yeah. I spend all day sitting there dragging and dropping, cutting and pasting. That's all I do. It's, this is my life. So, uh, but I get to listen to my history files and stuff. Anyways, I'm rambling. So, doggy style. Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, the long-haired one. Born, and I'll do my Jesus songs, don't worry. I'll do my Jesus songs on Christmas because that's Jesus' birthday, according to the Christian calendar or whatever. So, doggy style.